Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today I'm going to show you how to enable or disable a field based on a value in a different field. For example, let's say you want to make it so you only give credit limits to customers from Florida. So if their state field is anything but Florida, we're going to disable the credit limit field. All right, we're gonna cover that in today's class. This is an expert level class, so we can do this with no programming, no VBA required. What do we need to know before we do this though? Well, you are gonna to need to use conditional formatting, and specifically, we're gonna to have to use the expression is part of conditional formatting. This is why I consider this an expert level tip. It's a little bit more than just the basics. So go watch both of these videos first, and then come on back. You'll find links to both of those videos in the description below this one. All right, here I am in the Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to. And if I go into the customer form, here's where I'm gonna say, okay, if this is anything but Florida, I want to make this disabled. Okay, so right click design view. We're going to open up the properties for credit limit, go up to Format, conditional formatting, new rule, and this is where we have to change this to expression is, and in here, we're gonna say state is not equal to, that's a, that's a greater than and a less than, right? Or a less than and a greater than, and then in quotes, Florida, just like that, okay? Now be careful here, because in some older versions of access, you need to put the square brackets around state like that, or it'll tr think that you're, you're typing in a, an actual string, which you're not. Newer versions seem to have fixed that, but older versions, you gotta be careful. All right, now this little guy over here that says enable, you wanna click that. Okay, so normally this field will be enabled unless the state is not Florida, then it will disable it. All right, I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard because we're gonna use it again in a minute. Hit okay. Hit apply, hit okay again, close it, save it, open it. All right, this one's enabled. If I go to the next record, look at that, it's disabled. Can't click on it, can't do anything with it. You can still see it. And if you've got other values in your table that don't match this, you're gonna have to go in and change them, right? Open up your customer table, come over here and just you know delete anybody, set it to zero if they're not from Florida. You can use an update query I got a video on that, I'll put a link down below. All right, it's not gonna change the data already in your table, but it will make it so that only people from Florida right now can do that, all right? And the nice thing about conditional formatting is that it, it updates as soon as you change that field. So if I make James Kirk from Florida and hit tab, immediately it becomes available. So that's pretty cool. Same thing works in continuous forms, all right? It's one of the nice things about conditional formatting. Go to design view, go to credit limit, Format, conditional formatting, new rule, expression, mm, expression is, and then I'm gonna paste in that same formula, hit that enabled button, hit okay, okay, save it, close it, open it, boom. You can see only the people from Florida. Well, here we got an issue here, look at, this one's still available, even though he's got a blank value there. All right, so you also have to be careful to take into consideration null values. All right, because remember, if you compare null with anything, the result is null. It's not true or false. It's very weird. Null math is weird. In fact, I got a whole separate video on null math. So for this, make sure we come into here. Let's go back into the conditional formatting for it. Where, there it is, right? And we have to say expression is state is not Florida or is null state, just like that, right? I'm gonna copy that again, hit okay, hit okay, save it, close it, open it, and there we go, now it's blanked out. And make sure we put that in our other one too. Where's our guy in here, let's see. Where is he at, Ricard, yep, see, all right. I didn't catch that when I was going through the first time doing this. I didn't see that until we got to the continuous form. So 
So see, sometimes even I have to throw audibles in these videos, right? All right, credit limit, format, conditional formatting, open up and edit the rule and paste her in there. Okay, okay, save it, close it, open it, find Picard. Sorry, Picard, you're not a Florida resident. Now, that's great if your needs are simple, if this field is just simply based on another field, all right? What if you want to get more complicated than that? What if, let's say you've got your own login in this database and you want to enable managers to be able to still go in there and edit that value, right? Well, to do that, it's a little more complicated. It is going to involve a little bit of programming and we'll cover how to do it with VBA in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel, or you can watch it right now if you're a member. That's one of the benefits of membership is that you can see videos as soon as I post them. You don't have to wait for them to be released to the rest of the public. And if you want to learn more about the enabled property and you don't want to get into programming, in my Access Advanced Level 2 and Level 3 classes, I cover more with the enabled property. You need a little bit of programming to do much more with it than what I just showed you, but you don't need VBA programming. You can do it with just macros. My advanced series is all about macros. It's six lessons that cover macros and, and some basic automations and things you can do with just macros. In fact, what we'll do is I'll show you how to take it and make it so that uh, you disable any invoices that are marked paid. Once it's paid, you can't change it, all right? Unless you got the manager password. Okay, and well, I'll teach you all that stuff in Access Advanced Level 3. No programming required. I know a lot of people are afraid of VBA, but it's not something to be afraid of. It's real easy. But anyways, that's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month. And yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.